We're at the Hotta Gallery, or some people like to call it Hota. Um, I'm not really sure which one it is, but it's H-O-T-A and Home of the Arts here on the Gold Coast. So we're going to show you a little bit of what's here and I think we're going to head straight over to the gallery. Let's go. On level five, the top level, you will find the exhibitionist bar and a restaurant. They have a good variety of um, drinks up here and a nice selection on the menu. They have an outdoor and an indoor area. The outdoor area overlooks the amphitheater and also the Gold Coast city skyline. Yeah, we're here on a Thursday and uh for the middle of the day there's quite a few people here so I'm guessing this bar is pretty popular so uh, if I was you I'd come down and check it out So outside of the restaurant, there's this nice little seating area where people are gathered to look at the uh, cityscape. There's the Q1 that you can see now, the tallest building there. That's also got some um, great lookouts inside there. We might go up there soon too. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. you see here, we're here on a wet, cloudy day and still the, the view's fantastic. Hotter apparently holds 4,500 different pieces of art in its collection and from what I read it was like $32 million worth of um, art which is like the largest collection of any um, gallery outside of a capital city in okay. Australia mm -hmm. so that was pretty mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah I do enjoy the sites that actually do have the art in it uh, set up really well. well. He was happy. Yeah, he was happy. <laughs> yeah, you didn't realise I caught him on camera sneaking oh. a peek. Yeah, um, yeah. And I've seen here. See here, I, you'll see quite a bit of stairs, and it's sort of the architect's amazing. Like I yeah. really like the architecture of the gallery too. I did. No, I got the footage of the stairs because I just I was fascinated by them, so I decided to walk all the way down to the bottom floor. But. If you're uh, disabled and you need um, easy access, the gallery's perfect for um, accessibility. Yeah, it had everything there. So we um, had a look at a few different styles. I know that there was um, one called Punching Up, 21st Century Indigenous Photography, which featured six different artists. There was also a lot of paintings, ceramics, photography and video uh, also an exhibition called the Australian Playground which was all about the sights and wonders of the Gold Coast region that was um, good to see as well yeah, I think the indigenous ones weren't just photos they were all types of art and a lot of the photography were actually local artists work
outside of the gallery, I come across this small area here, which is a place where you can bring your children and there's all these tables and little postcards. Actually, I think this is called Postcards from the Edge and um, it's an actually artist um, space. And guess who I happened to find in here? <laughs> What are you doing now? Uh, resting. I need a rest. Lots of walking. In the studio here, they've got a, what looks like a printmaking class going on. So there's about, I don't know, 12 to 15 people in there doing printmaking. If you've ever wondered what it looks like behind the scenes in an art gallery, well, here's a sneak peek. This is at the Hoda Gallery and they are getting set up for a new exhibition. Now I've just left the gallery and I've headed over to the older building, which isn't that old, but it, it's where they have all the live performances. And over there, they've got this little cafe. Yeah, as you can see, it's got plenty of seating out the front. Um, also inside, there's a lot of seating. It's a, it's a lovely little space. Um, yeah, there's the eatery foods there, $15 sausage rolls if you like them. And uh, you go through the back here and there's a lot more seating and it takes you out outdoors where there's a lovely green area, which would be great on a sunny day. Okay, so that concludes our visit of the Hutter Gallery on the Gold Coast. They're changing their exhibitions all the time. So just go on to the um, internet and have a look what they've got going on. They have all different things here like movies and um, bands and heap of different things. Exhibitions and outdoor entertainment. I think um, they've got... Who have they got coming up? Shortly, there was a sign just around oh, the corner. Oh, no, I never thought. Oh, anyway. Oh. anyway, have a look online. Heaps of things to do here. Yeah. Yeah, the parking now, you have to pay for parking, but that's only if you're here after four hours yeah. during the day. Yeah, so you yeah. can park up to four hours for free. But one of the things that causes a little bit of confusion with some people is they get fined from the council because they don't put their um, license plate number into the parking meter when you arrive. If your license plate isn't in the parking meter, well, you're open to get fined. So make sure you do that when you get here. Okay.